Welcome to this What's New in Solid 2011 R1 covering the Assembly Wizard. As we open up to the splash screen of the program, we click on the Assembly button up at the top and get into the Assembly Wizard. I'm going to look at this frameless construction method that I've set to be a 32 millimeter style method. And we'll go into the interior case section and look at the drawer stretcher. Previously, you've always had these options here and this one here. But previously, you only had one option of how did your drawer stretcher join with the end. And it encompassed finished ends, sub ends, and unfinished ends. But now we have all of our different end types, starting with the unfinished end, then to the finished end, and then to the sub end. Another new feature in the adjustable shelf section, we now have an option for shelf nosing. This was a pretty common UCS in the past where you had to create a new part and add it to the shelf and then modify your line boring and so on, but now you can determine if you want to have shelf nosing always or never or only if the part is a certain length. You can also specify if you want the shelf nosing to be equal to the part's thickness or if you want it to be taller flush at the top or taller flush at the bottom. You have the same options available for shelf nosing on the standard shelf. and also for the fixed shelf. Always have shelf nosing only if the shelf is a certain length, only the thickness of the part, flush top, or flush bottom. Now in the exterior case section, if we double click on the top, let's go to the wall, the upper cabinet tops, and choose a full top, I now have the option to determine if I want to put a scribe value on the top. In frameless and 32 millimeter construction, you previously did not have this option. They added this in for us now. Same can be said for the bottom. Do you want to scribe the bottom or the deck to the bottom of the, the face or just leave it flush? And then also you have the ability to determine your grain direction on a bottom slash deck. You want the vertical grain front to back or the horizontal grain left to right. And the final thing we will cover in this video, if we go through our reveals, go to the very end, after we determine our drawer opening height, we now have a new option for determining if you want the drawer box to follow the guide specs as far as the bottom clearance or if you want to set a value here in the wizard. If you don't use drawer stretchers, this is a handy tool so that you can just flush it to the bottom of the drawer front. Okay, that concludes this What's New in Solid 2011 video. Thank you for watching.